Ever wonder what all this air is made of? Or rather, where it all comes from? What is this stuff we breathe in and out of our body? And where does it go? There are millions of these teeny tiny particles in the air that we can't see. Now, of course, we know that everything around the world is made of these teeny tiny particles, and they're called atoms. In science, there are many different types of atoms, and these types of atoms are called elements. Now, all these elements shift and move from place to place in a never-ending cycle. Today, we're going to talk about the cycle and each step in the cycle of two of these elements, carbon and oxygen. Earth has four major systems. The first is the lithosphere, composing of the Earth's soil and crust. The second is the hydrosphere, composing of the Earth's water systems. The third is the atmosphere, composing of Earth's surrounding air. And last is the biosphere, composing of Earth's living components. Each of these systems carries out a certain step within the carbon-oxygen cycle. And it starts with us humans. Animals also breathe out air that they don't need carbon dioxide gas. This is a gas that contains the carbon element. Both of these gases are found in the Earth's atmosphere. Most of the oxygen in the air comes from plants, whether it's plants on land or underwater. They all give out oxygen from their leaves in a process called photosynthesis. These plants take in carbon dioxide and water and give out oxygen in exchange. So humans breathe in oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide, while plants do the opposite. We provide the gas needed for the plants, and the plants provide the gas needed for us. Pretty neat. All of these occur in the Earth's living components in the biosphere. Now when a plant or an animal dies, its body becomes buried underneath the soil. All dead animals and plants contain carbon in their tissues. Soon, these tissues get broken down by worms or bacteria in a process called decomposition. By doing so, these decomposers breathe just like us and release CO2 gas back into the atmosphere to be used again by plants. However, carbon dioxide doesn't always come from dead animals or us breathing. In fact, volcanoes that erupt release a tremendous amount of gases into the atmosphere, including carbon dioxide. These gases all come from deep within the Earth's crust, and once an eruption occurs, exits and disperses into the atmosphere. These instances occur in the Earth's lithosphere of the carbon cycle. Dioxide in the atmosphere is also made through our influence as human beings through burning carbon fuels. In order to produce electricity, we burn large amounts of carbon fuels such as coal, fossil fuels, and natural gases. However, doing so produces carbon dioxide gas, which, if produced in large amounts, can heat up the earth and cause global warming. So you see, carbon and oxygen is all around us constantly shifting from one form into another in a continuous cycle. My name is Ryan Vicetto. Thanks for watching. <laughs>